In this part on web services, we will discuss about JAXB, Java Architecture for XML Binding. Here, what are we trying to do is this. We are trying to access XML documents from applications that you have written in Java language. So let's see how to access it. In order to do it, we are going to use an existing WSDL file which contains the schema inside. So let's open the WSDL file just to get an idea. So this is called credit report simple dot WSDL file. So this is the WSDL file. Generally in the WSDL file you have definitions. Immediately after definitions you find messages, message, port type, binding and so on, surveys and so on. In here you will find under types we have included the actual schema. The schema is inserted inside. So using this schema, we are able to access and manipulate XML files. So that is what we are going to traverse here. So you can build an XML file using JAXP. And then using the schema present, it can be validated. And you can create a content tree. Okay, You can add elements, you can remove elements to the XML file and so on. So this is the architectural diagram of it. So you'll find there's a schema. There's a binding compiler, which is introduced. And then you can generate the XML file. Okay, you can also generate the content tree. So here, let's start and start the example using NetBeans here. So we will use NetBeans right now to do this job. Again, we go here, new project, select Java. Okay, here we will select Java applications. We are using Java application. Click next. Let's give a name for this project. We will give it as JSE Simple Client Report. So that's the name we are giving here. All right, and then continue. Click finish. In this example, as we are going to use an existing WSDL file, we have missed one important point here. Okay, the point is this, we should have included what is called as the main method or the main class which we didn't include when we generated the service okay let's continue on so if you want to remove it and do it again just click on it delete it you can remove all the files which it has created file new java java application and this is the name here it is if you don't create a main class, it won't create. But if you want to create, you can create also. So in this example, we are creating a main class here. So it is this one, which is created just now. Right click on it. Okay. Then what you do is this, you create, you go to new, you say other, go into this list, choose XML, you'll find JAXP binding. Click next. So you'll find this um, screen, which is similar to this one here. So we are going to enter a few things here. We are going to specify uh, the name of it. And uh, the project will give you the name of the project. This is your project name. This is the binding name you want to give. This is actually the JAXP binding name. You can provide a schema file from a URL, or you can provide it from locally. And the schema files can be of different types. It can be WSDL, DTD, and others. And you can provide the package name plus you can use some of these options you want to go like verbose you want to be quiet how you want it to be or you want to have strict validation and so on so these things can be provided here okay so let's give the name of it if you want to have any binding file you can provide also 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 catalog file okay this is basically oasis catalog file we will not be using them right now so let's choose our existing WSDL file. Browse. Under F, under this name, under courses, under web engineering, under practice, under web services, you will find our WSDL. This is our WSDL file. Click open. All right, it says there's an error, but you can just ignore it. No problem. Okay, choose WSDL here. And we want to give a name for it. 
So the error actually will say that WSGL schema is uh, experimental, it might not work, but we can just ignore it, no problem. So we have done this, let's click. So we have to select this option, it was wrongly selected. Just give finish. So it will generate the necessary files now, if you click on it. Okay, it has the source packages, it has the JAXP binding, it has a generated package, you will find it creates all these Java files for you. Okay, it has the JAXB binding for the credit report, so there's binding from that file. And if you want to change some of these things, like you can go here to the JAXP binding, click on credit report, you can right click, you can change the JAXB options, okay. So you can change it right down here. Okay, if you want to change, if you have set up something and if you want to change the setting, you can just do it here. Right click on this credit report, change JAXP binding. So now it's all fine. If you have changed something, you can right click this guy and say regenerate Java code. We didn't change, but if you want to click regenerate, it's going to do the same job here. Okay, by generating the file. And you can also right click on this and you can open the WSDL file. If you want to see your WSDL file, which is here. Now the next step, we are going to introduce some marshal the Java code into an XML schema. So let's open our package, go into source. This is our file. This is our source file here. So you'll find this is our class name. This is our main method. Let's create an object. So we are creating an object for credit report, okay. So it says that, you know, it couldn't find it, okay, credit report is not there. I can just click on fix imports. So that didn't help you. In case you get an error on the credit report, let's say this is not found, the item is not found, you can right click, click on fix imports. Sometimes this might not work. If it does not work, you need to go to the package again, right click and click build again, okay. To confirm whether it works fine, go to your folder, okay, go to your JSSSC simple client report folder, go into build the folder, go into the generated sources, if you go in into JAXB, ORG, the package name is here, ORG, NetBeans, JWS, EE, WSDL, credit report, you find the Java files here. Having the Java files is not sufficient. You go to build the folder, there should be a classes folder. Inside the classes folder, you should have the same package, ORG, NetBeans, JWSEE, WSDL, credit report, you should have the class files. If you don't have this, that means it did not build it properly. So right click on click on build again, okay, or clean and build again. Then uh, even after doing that, you find the class there and you type credit report, you right click, try to fix import, still gives you error. You can just put the package yourself, import org, netbeans, java, j2se, wsdl, uh, credit report. Okay, now that is being done. So let's continue on. So if I go to the next line, I type CR dot, right, it's actually give me a list of uh, methods here. So if it doesn't give here, you might need to press control and control and the space. There's no suggestion here. Okay, so I did not understand what is CR still. So let's try to go down here. There's an error at the import itself. So it say ORG NetBeans does not exist. So as this does not exist, let's comment it, right click on it, clean and build. So 
So like before, if you have those errors, as I've told you, you just need to right click on the project here. You can just say clean and build. So it will build the files. You will find it will create compiling the source files. So you can go to the files path here and then click on J JSE simple client report. You will find the build folder. Inside that there should be classes and you should have the files inside. So you can check here or you can check on your my computer as well. So let's continue on our project. After creating it, we want to add some things. So if you right click, it generates a list of methods which you can select from. So you can choose them, but instead of doing that, we are going to just copy paste these lines here. So I want to add some elements here, like for example, big integer, we don't have the import of it. So just click, right click on it and say fix imports. So that will generate it for us. After you complete all these lines, okay, just at the end, just press Jax B M. Okay, it'll give you an error. It will also give you that this is not part of uh, the Java programming language. Okay, in order to do it, we need to have a different setup here. Once you press tab, it will complete the necessary stuff for you. It will generate everything from Java Beans itself. Basically, it's part of Java Beans. So, if you want to do JAXB and marshalling, it's abbreviated as JAXBU. So you just have to press tab, it will complete for you. This is Jax B marshalling, okay? Pressing tab, it will complete the code. So you should not change this uh, code which it has generated. Don't manipulate with it, leave it as it is. Now let's try to run the application. Right click on it, click run. So you can see after running, it generates the necessary file for you. This is your elements you have added, the XML file elements. This has been displayed for you here. So the basic idea is this. We use an existing WSDL file, which somebody has generated, which contains the XML schema, which is XSD. And we use it. From there, we create our own application where we can add elements. We can add XML elements. But when you add XML elements, you need to follow the schema. You cannot change from the schema by itself. So if you refer to the schema, it has first name, it has last name, it has date of birth, it has SSN score like this. So you have to say set first name, set last name, set DOB, date of birth, set score, set SSN. Okay, so you need to follow according to what is in here because we have to follow the schema here. So after you add, if you want to marshal the data, you just have to type JAXBM and then press tab, it will complete. So if you look at the marshalling code, you will see it's creating an instance, it's getting uh, the class from the package, and then it is also encoding it using UTF-8. Basically, it's supporting uh, Unicode support, and that's it. It should do the marshalling job for you.